Hey guys, uh, today's tutorial is going to be a two-part video and it's going to be retouching this photo and then editing and coloring in the next video. So the video right now you're watching is again the retouching and we're just going to be doing a frequency separation technique and I have another video dedicated specifically to this technique for retouching. I personally think that this is a, one of the better techniques. It's easier to you know, learn and it's less time consuming than doing dodging and burning. Of course, it could be argued um, another way, but for me, this is the way that I retouch my pictures. So the first thing that we're going to do is I've already categorized the frequency separation folders. And again, if you watch my other tutorial, you'll learn exactly how to do this. So I have my low frequency and high frequency. I'm going to be staying on the low frequency right now, and I'm going to duplicate it because I get really paranoid. Um, about making mistakes and everything. So I like to always have a duplicate. And the way that I did that was just Command J. So I duplicated the picture and I'm going to go to my healing brush um, and it is the regular healing brush tool and pressing Alt, just going to be cleaning up very slightly around here. I'm not going to do anything crazy because there really isn't too much to be cleaned up. So I'm just going to be doing a very simple retouch just to show you guys how I kind of do that. And I just kind of sample from neighboring skin areas. You know, they're all neighbors. It's like one big neighborhood of colors. So just kind of sampling. And I don't do this. Like, I won't go, like, all the way up here. It's I like to just stay a little bit under the eye. It's okay if she has lines on her face. I mean, it's normal, you guys. We all, we're all going to get wrinkles one day, so... And now I'm going to go on to my high frequency layer and I'm going to duplicate that as well and just turn that first one off. And I'm going to, if I see any spots, I'm just going to get rid of them. And again, this is the textured layer. So any texture that you see that's kind of out of place, you can that can be fixed with the high frequency layer. Am I supposed to be talking like through this? I don't really, I just, I'm just clicking a lot really. It's just a bunch of clicking and, and using a tablet is really helpful because I can't imagine doing this with a mouse. So I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty solid. Again, just a normal, I'm going to have to fix um, this cheek area just a tiny bit and I'll show you how to do that. If I, you know, take off the high frequency layer, you can see that there's patches of color. So I'm going to go ahead and fix up her cheek area a little bit. I'm going to make another copy of that layer. And I'm going to turn off the high frequency layer just so I can see a little bit better what I need to fix. And just go over with the healing brush. And when you remove the high frequency layer, you can see a little bit better, a little bit more clearly what needs to be retouched because then you can see the difference in color and the patches and all that other stuff. See, like, I, I'm able to see that a little better. Well, I just did. But when you stare at this for so long, it gets a little hard. So you might want to zoom out every so often. So I can tell that's looking a little better. And... One of the last things I'm going to do, I'm going to Command Shift on. I'm going to make a new layer. And using the same color as her cheek, I'm sampling a color. I'm going to slightly go over this with a brush. And I'm going to keep my opacity around 11%. I'm just going to slightly fill that in so it's a little bit smoother using that same color. And you can do this for the rest of her face, but you don't want it to look like a painting. So don't do too much, just very slightly. And again, a very low opacity, so I'm only using it at 11% right now. You can kind of sample a color and just kind of brush it in, just so it can be a little bit smoother. And I'm keeping this at normal. I'm not going to put it too light in or anything like that. Just keeping that to, to normal. 
I'm going to show you the difference of what this does. So I'm going to show you the difference. Um, here is without the layer, and here it is with it. And I'll show you again. I'm going to get rid of the color over here, and I think we'll be pretty good, pretty solid. I don't want it too much. You can always lower the opacity as well. I think that's that also is a good idea. Okay, so some other enhancements that we could do to this photo um, are obviously the eyes. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer. And this is going to be under the high frequency separation layer. So you don't want, to want it to be on top. You want it to be on the bottom, right underneath it. And I'm going to choose a yellow color, like a yellow, like a white yellow color. And I'm going to switch the layer from normal to soft light, just so I can see what kind of effect it gives me. And I'm keeping my opacity still at 11%. You just want to go over this very slightly. I know she's looking like X-Men right now, but I'm going to fix it, I, I swear. So you can always toggle back um, to overlay or soft light based on your preference, just to bring out just a tiny bit of color. The next thing that I'm going to do is make another new layer. And I'm going to default my colors from black to black and, and white. And I'm going to go from normal to soft light. And I'm going to use a very small brush. And I'm just going to outline the outer pupil of her outer. I don't even know. I'm not going to even pretend to know the name of this because I do art. And yeah, so just the outline of the eye. That looks pretty good. And you don't want to, you know, have this too intense. So I would lower this. And I'm going to make another layer. I should probably name these. I'm going to get lost. Okay, so I'm going to make a new one, which I just did. And using a white color, I'm going to go from normal to soft light. And again, you can always change these layers. I'm just going to go over the eye. I'm gonna, I changed it to overlay. Again, I'm always keeping my opacity at 11 because I don't want to do anything too crazy. And I'm toggling between the black and the white. So the black color, I'm intensifying the black. And then the white color, I am brightening up the whites in her eyes. So around this area, white, white, darker color here, and then white on the inside of her eye as well. So you see this tiny little water duct area. See, I know some terms. You could do that white. And you don't have to do this. I mean, this is if you really want to enhance the image. Just showing you, showing you some different techniques of doing that. So that is some eye enhancement right there. And last but not least, we're going to be doing some highlighting. And you can, you can have this layer on the very, very top. And I'm going to go from normal to soft light. And my opacity, I'm going to keep it at 50% now. Again, white and black colors. So what I want to do now is go over the brighter areas with white and go over the darker areas with black. So it's, she's going to look like one of those makeup tutorials where they contour people. But we're going to fix it in just a second. So she's not going to look like this. <laughs> like, Don't you see those makeup, the makeup tutorials people do like contouring? We are going to lower this very slightly. Mm -hmm. Photoshop is so dramatic. Okay. And the bridge of the nose as well. Like, I've just become, this is a makeup, or I'm doing her makeup right now. So, I've kind of done something really exaggerated. All you have to do is just lower the opacity. And it looks less like she's in a makeup tutorial. And she just slipped her face in makeup, so that's okay. Just something very slight. I just, I really, I, I like to keep things a little bit simple, but it really is based on your personal preference. So I'm going to show you the before and after to this photo. This is before, and that's after. Before and after. Again, very simple, retouching, nothing too crazy. And part two is going to be focusing on coloring this entire image. So stay tuned for that.